On this channel, I share science-based solutions for everyday life. My name is André Dourado, I am from Portugal. I want to tell you about grounding or hurting. Do you know what is it? Grounding refers to a direct contact with the earth with a bare foot or contact with the earth with the use of a conductive wire connected to the human body during sleep or daily activities. Researchers refer to grounding as contacting with the electrical charge of the earth or vitamin G or electronic nutrition. This energetic phenomenon includes the Schumann resonances which are electromagnetic vibrations in the atmosphere and the energetic humming of the Earth's surface. Schumann resonance vibrate at 7.83 Hz or roughly 8 times per second. This key frequency of the grounding phenomenon is maintained by the global electrical circuit. This circuit has three main generators, the solar wind entering the magnetosphere, the ionospheric wind and the thunderstorms with their lightning strikes. This creates a constant current of thousands of amperes transferring positive charge to the upper atmosphere, the ionosphere, and negative charge to the Earth's surface. The Earth's surface is therefore flooded with enormous amounts of free electrons. These Earth electrons, when conducted to the human body, result in physiological changes. During grounding, the electrical potential of the human body equals the electrical potential of the Earth, whose values depends always on location, time and weather. Grounding alters the negative charge density of the electrical environment of the human body, influencing the physiological process. Scientific studies have shown to attenuate inflammatory response and reduce pain, decrease red blood cell aggregation, improving blood flow and viscosity, accelerate hood healing and trauma response. Grounding also improves sleep, decreases stress hormones and rebalances the nervous system as measured by improved heart rate variability. Grounding significantly influences the electrical activity of the brain and muscles. There are psychiatric centers that give patients play bath or make them play with the soul with their hands and feet. What drew my attention to grounding was exactly this. In a very difficult period of my life, one day I went to the beach and I walked barefoot by the sea. And when I got, when I got home, I was so relaxed, like everything was all right. The second time it happened, I arrived to the beach with symptoms of a panic attack. And after 15 minutes, I was smiling. At that moment, I thought, someone must have already studied this. According to a study, the connection of the organism to the Earth is associated with an immediate drop in electrical potential to approximately minus 200 millivolts, measured at different points of the human organism. Interruption of the contact with the Earth causes electrical potential to return to initial values. Contact with the Earth can occur directly when walking barefoot on grass, moist soil, sand, gravel or concrete, Hard surface that are relatively good conductors of electric current, or during swimming in the sea, river and lakes. Indoor grounding is easily achieved by connecting the body via a conductive wire to a metal rod, push it into the soil outside or to a properly grounded outlet in a wall electrical socket. We can wrap a wire around the ankle or use conductive sheets, mattresses or rugs connected to the earth. As you can see, there are mattresses to help us charge our batteries while we sleep. But we can create something handmade for the same purpose. Well, this must be the reason why I love so much to sleep on the floor. Walking barefoot is a process in which there is an alternation between contact and interruption of contact with the Earth. This interrupting contact causes change in the body electrical potential. These electrical changes are not natural for the nervous system. Grounding generates immediate changes in electroencephalogram and surface electromyogram, but also blood pressure and other changes in electrolytes, glucose, endocrine and immune systems. Anyone who has children has noticed how they love to be barefoot, how happy they are when they play and walk without socks and shoes. Children are more primitive than adults, they are less civilized, domesticated than us and therefore their intuition is stronger. 
and they are right. The more barefoot, the healthier and happier children are. Present lifestyle and modern habits have isolated people from earth energy, making us more vulnerable to stress and illness. According to people who have experienced grounding during the night or day, they report improvements in their physical and mental health. Several reports indicate that it also may impact the course of neurodegenerative and gastrointestinal diseases, and even fertility. I had a teacher in a master's degree in natural medicine I did many years ago, who said that in traditional Chinese medicine, ancient doctors sent couples who were unable to have children to make love in the nature. If someone is watching this video that knows about Chinese medicine, please comment below. But this is not a human thing. In a study on mice living in lab cage, those who had a grounded mat in their cage were less stressed and produced less stress hormones. If you have cats and live in an apartment, you probably already noticed how they love to lie down inside potted plants to touch the soil. Someone say we are making poor people lifestyle fashionable. Well, that's not true. And it's also true. Eating old bread was something for the poor people. Rich ate refined white bread. Eating sweets and meat every day was something for the rich. Being obese was a sign of wealth. Today, we know that obesity is a disease and eating white bread, sweets and a lot of meat isn't healthy. We also know that when poor people began to live like rich, they also began to have the disease of the rich. There are times that to evolve, we have to go back. And walking barefoot, at least part of the day, make us happy and healthier. As you see, our society is so far away from its roots and so psychotic. Today, we eat junk food. We don't see sunlight. We are sedentary. We walk on shoes. Instead of being together, we talk to each other on social media. So if we change the way of living, we change the way of thinking and maybe of feeling. I don't want to be psychotic. I want to be a happy and healthy human being. How about you?